can't touch the ground. That's called a cover. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> I want the Japanese name for it, though. <laughs> Moving swiftly on, let us get down to the real business end of the women's under 52 kilo category. And there we have Sherine Abdelawi of Algeria giving herself, firing herself up. Victories over some very storied fighters. And here's another storied fighter for her to take on. The Canadian flag bearer at these Paralympic Games, Priscilla Gagné. The number two seed, 35 years old. Fifth in Rio, she's going to pick up a medal this time around. Which one will it be? Sherine Abdelawi, the number four seed, just 22 years old. It's her birthday tomorrow as well, the 28th of August. She will turn 23 tomorrow. As an 18-year-old in Rio, she just turned 18. She was 18 years and 11 days old when she won bronze in Rio five years ago. What's she going to take home this time? She's in blue. Will she be taking home silver or gold? Either way, she's getting the blood flowing. Priscilla Gagné, fully visually impaired in the B1 category, as we can see, brought up there by the coach and then taken out onto the tatami by Vasily Simon, the referee for this contest. The women's gold medal match in the under 52 kilo category. We have Gagné in the white colours with that red patch. Fast and furious start. Straight into the action from both of them. Referee calling Mate. I'm sure we're going to hear the Algerian coach saying, aggressive, aggressive. He usually speaks Arabic. Uh, occasionally the odd word of French in there, but perhaps he will avoid that since Priscilla Gagné lives in Quebec and speaks French. Each time they come back to the centre of the area. The Kumikata once more. Nothing between these two, all square. Plenty of time to get on the score. Abdelawi taking the initiative. Gagné drops down to the mat. There's Laharoui Nadia Bel Arbi, the national coach for the Algerian para judo squad. And there's definite gamesmanship going on between the, uh, the, the two coaches. Both of them avoiding French, which would be the common language. One speaking Arabic, the other one Andre Sade of Canada speaking English. But these two athletes are speaking the language of judo. Both of them desperately want to go away with the success and the title to go with it. Cancelling each other out somewhat. Still plenty of time, three minutes, 16 seconds, in which to score. Nothing between them. The sweeping technique, the Ashiwaza. There's the take down there, and there is the score from Abdullahi. Waza Ari to get her on the board. You saw Gagne's shoulder hitting the deck. A half throw, but it's enough to get her halfway there already. A minute into this gold medal bout, and Abdelawi, the number four seed, is the one who takes the lead with a Wazari. And effectively, she was too with that Koichi Gari. That sweeping technique from the, the leg of Gagne. Oh, Gagne taking hold of the leg of Abdelawi. Careful there. Abdelawi got hold of that. She could put on a, a lock on the elbow. 
Just the Wazari difference between the two at the moment. Again, jostling for position. Abdullahi attempted to take to down. Bagani. Flat on a, a face here as the referee calls Mate. Gets them up. All square again. Back on the start position. Still the Wazari difference between the two. The gang A there. Much stronger attack on that occasion. Couldn't quite come off for her though. After Lowy managed to keep away and avoid going down on a side. Coming up for the halfway stage. Still just the Wasari between them. Genyu waiting patiently to be brought back in by the referee. Captain Lowy just trying to duck under, drop that elbow under. Can't quite pull that off though. Gangnye managing to keep out of danger. Oh, wow. There we go. There we go. Great technique there from Abdullahi. Brilliant. Takes the hip on. And she is absolutely delighted with that. So she should be. That was a fantastic technique. Come on, Yonagi. Brilliant. Yes, there's, uh, she, she needs to uh, c complete the bout. Um, she, she's been uh, lying on the floor in delight, much along the lines of a tennis player who then needs to go to the net and shake hands with her, uh, his or her opponent. Uh, she needs to go back onto the blue where she is now and have the official judgment from the referee. A big hug for Gagné, but it's Sherine Abdelawi. A day shy of her 23rd birthday. Bronze medalist in Rio de Janeiro and a gold medalist five years on here at the Nippon Budokan. Delight leaps into the arms of her coach, La Roi Nadia Bel Abi. Disappointment for Gagné. But tears of joy for Sherine Abdelawi. 23 tomorrow, gold medal today in the women's under 52 kilo category. Winner by combined technique, so it's two Wazaris. That second Wazari looked good enough for an Ippon for me. Oh, it looked great. She was just slightly off her, on her side. She was just slightly out there. Otherwise, it would have been Ippon, but it was a brilliant technique. Gagne just managed to wriggle slightly off landing fully on her back. But, but the Wazari that Abdelawi had already gained earlier in the bout was enough, adding the two together. What a performance from her. Defeated Nikolajcik in the quarterfinals, Fujiwara in the semis, Gagne in the final. Here's how she did it. There we go. And just... Fraction away from landing clean on her back. Very good. Excellent, in fact. Gold medal performance from Shari Gonye. You can see the highlights of the final on the screen. Sherin Adelawi. Wow, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant.
Well, we're doing things in alphabetical order. It would appear we've had two gold medals for Azerbaijan.